This is my updated countdown effect for DaVinci Resolve and you can get it yourself for free. What makes this effect so special is that it's completely procedural. What this means is that you can drag this clip to any length you want and the countdown will fill the time, giving you one countdown for nearly any length. Compared to the first version I showed, this has quite a few changes. Now it supports minutes, has another countdown bar for each minute, which doesn't appear if the countdown is less than a minute long. Not only that, but there's now moving shapes in the background and some new colours. This effect is a fusion composition, which is a collection of nodes, and in that there are five aspects. The first is the basis behind the entire effect, the countdown itself. This runs off a few different values. The base two give me two countdown values, giving me the seconds with the decimals counting down each second, and then just the seconds on their own. And then the other two values are the minutes and the seconds to be displayed. Next, it's the text. This part's a bit simpler, with an expression just combining those minutes and second values into a visual form, making sure if the seconds are under 10, there's a zero placed before the number. Now it's time for the cooldown it uses. The first cooldown bar, which counts down the entire length of the time, is reasonably simple, with this relatively well-known expression powering it. However, the second is slightly more complicated. This second countdown goes down every minute of the countdown. Why? Good question. It uses a combination of nearly all the expressions I mentioned before to create this smooth countdown. This heavily relies upon that frame countdown value from earlier, which keeps the decimals from the countdown, to allow me to use that as a way to smoothly move the cooldown bar between each second it counts. Looking next at the decoration, this is the most basic part. The shapes on the left are the exact same thing, just scaled differently next to each other, and are a result of having the angle of the shape being attached to the time value in DaVinci Resolve's Fusion, which is just the current frame. Both these also set the width and the height to zero, so they disappear, when the countdown ends, to clear themselves for the final aspect, the background. This is set to a yellow colour, so that I can just change the value of the green colour in the background, to make the background red when the timer or countdown reaches zero. Well that's the latest version of my countdown effect. If you want a download to use it yourself or take individual aspects for other projects of your own you can find a link in the description. And if you want to follow along to create the first version of this countdown effect yourself, watch the video here.